Hi, my name is Derek Stone. I'm part of the teaching team that developed this project, and I'm going to give you an overview. The objective of this project is to allow students to build a relatively complex piece of software using software de development techniques that we would use in uh, any situation. We break it into smaller sprints, which you're going to hear some more detail about. Each sprint is roughly about a week and a half of work or six to 10 hours of work for the average student. We gave it to students that had had some introductory Java material but and some exposure to programming, but not necessarily Java experts. Uh, so about 450 students with a wide variety of experience in Java. Hi, my name is Robbie Hott. As Derek said, this is a project across four homework sprints. Uh, it's intended to give students that satisfaction of building a full graphical application. Uh, in the first sprint, uh, students will develop their first classes. They'll write the photograph class with the caption and file name, the photo library that has an array list of photographs and some metadata. And students will gain experience implementing classes, implementing static methods, and testing their code using main method testing. In the second sprint, we add albums to the mix, bringing in more of the collections framework and asking students to compare and manipulate dates in Java using the ISO standard date format. And students will also begin testing or unit testing their code with JUnit. Uh, in the third sprint, we ask students to reimagine their design using the properties of inheritance and abstraction, creating an abstract photograph container class to provide the shared functionality of storing an array list of photographs uh, from both the album and photo library classes. Uh, they'll also implement the comparable interface and comparators uh, to allow them to compare photographs by date, caption, and rating. Last, the project will culminate in the graphical user interface, giving students the experience in developing uh, graphical interfaces using event-driven programming. And they'll also gain experience with exceptions using try-catch blocks uh, as they read images from the file system. Hi, my name is Nada Bassett and I'll talk a little bit about mechanics. For the first three sprints, we provide descriptions for each of them, as well as JUnit tests suitable for automated testing. For grading, we use WebCat, but it can be easily adaptable to local testing or other platforms such as Gradescope. In our particular case, we used a 70-30 breakdown where 70% is provided by the auto grader for correctness, whereas the last 30%, we use manual grading for good coding style. We provide two options for the final sprint, sprint number four, where one option is to provide a lot of code, a lot of scaffolding for students, and we expect students to write built-in event handlers and practice event-driven programming. The more advanced version is that we provide a lot of requirements for the GUI, but leave the full design and implementation for the students. I'll also talk a little bit about the engagement practices. We're avoiding stereotypes by providing diverse famous CS personalities in the example that we provide for students. We also incorporate student choice where the students have a lot of freedom of design for the project and they can also use their own photographs which makes it fun and exciting for them. We also use meaningful and relevant content. Students these days are very familiar with Instagram and such platforms. So this is already immediately familiar to them and they also have a lot of fun with using their own photographs. Hi, my name is Ray Bennett. I wanna share a few insights we found while using these assignments in one of our courses. There are several tips that we listed on this slide. I'll just highlight a few of those. Uh, realize that if a student falls behind early on uh, in a sprint um, and they're not able to complete it successfully, that could je jeopardize their future sprints. So we suggest that once a sprint has ended, give out prior sprint solutions or perhaps encourage students to collaborate with each other. Uh, and notice that you can really customize uh, this assignment and be flexible. Um, sprint four is the only sprint uh, that, that incorporates GUI development. Um, you could easily switch um, from the assignment that we show using Java Swing to something like Java FX or even an Android mobile application uh, if you'd like. Thank you for watching uh, this presentation. We hope this assignment is useful to you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact us. Um, our contact information is given here. Thank you.